Hello students. Mm. Now I am here with with another part of the same topic that is knowing microorganisms. So last time uh, in the previous video we discussed about the microorganisms and viruses different types of microorganisms and different types of viruses among, among the different types of microorganisms we have done with the algae and fungi or fungi uh, today we will move with bacteria protozoa viruses we have already done so I hope you got the difference what is microorganisms what is virus you got the difference between the algae and fungi okay it's harmful effects it's beneficial its advantages disadvantages so for more in details okay please go to the content book and see what is there okay so today we will continue it with the bacteria and the protozoa so now like fungi and algae they both are different things okay they are they are completely different microorganisms so in the same way bacteria and protozoa are also different now let us go with bacteria what is bacteria so bacteria are single celled microorganisms that have different shapes and sizes okay bacteria are basically basically single celled organisms which possess different shapes and sizes some bacteria are harmful and some are harmless like everything okay so like on most of the microorganisms okay few are harmful few are beneficial so in this case bacteria also yeah the same thing and next is the study of bacteria is called a bacteriology okay whoever will study about the bacteria the subject will be known as the bacteriology example of the bacteria okay one is the harmful and another is useful so bacteria that okay it, like it is said that um, bacteria is harmful so harmful bacteria is bacillus anthracis okay it is one of the example bacillus anthracis it is scientific name of anthrax okay the bacteria which causes the anthrax disease and next is the useful bacteria is the lactobacillus species that is the bacteria which promotes the formation of cot from the milk so this two things are basically basic examples of bacteria okay so bacteria they can multiply okay rapidly and some produce toxic substances uh, which uh, are very harmful harmful to humans and causes disease okay so bacteria has some bacteria has advantages some bacteria disadvantages to human beings so now bacteria okay let us go with the cell structure okay so how it looks actually bacteria so now let us go with the cell structure of bacteria okay so bacteria is unicellular microorganism then okay bacteria is unicellular micro bacteria is unicellular microorganism then it consists of what it consists of a cell body isn't it it consists of cell body like this okay but as it has been already said one of the uh, basic uh, characteristic of bacteria is it possess different shape and different size okay so this is basic example so basically it uh, it it 
poses as this cell wall okay so from cell wall okay usually think that it is a double layer cell okay so it is the cell wall so now within the cell wall there is a genetic material okay this is the genetic material is present inside the bacteria okay genetic material inside the bacteria like in case that's why it is you know that just uh, like the previous chapter in the cell structure we we talked about the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell so bacteria basically comes in the prokaryotic cells okay so in case what happens they don't have proper nucleus okay they don't have proper cell organelles okay they don't have proper you know that nucleus with that nuclear membrane and all okay so it's new and this genetic material is dispersed in a cytoplasm so this whole thing is the cytoplasm here and this is the thing and we call this outer thing is the capsule okay so this this is the cell membrane this is the cell membrane and here outside we call call it okay that the cell membrane is covered by a capsule and okay it so this thing is the flagellum okay the antenna like a thing and this thing is cytoplasm so this is the basic feature of the bacteria and please go through the book okay please refer your book page number 18 19 okay so basically it has it was a cell wall the cell wall gives the bacteria as shape okay uh, bacteria uh, shape such as spherical rod like with space spiral and next thing it poses control center it contains the dna okay that contains all cell activity capsule it is a protective outer covering and helps to protect the bacteria and it has the flagella flagella is a long tail like structure that helps okay the bacteria to move or swim so bacteria the flagella okay a bacteria can rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on the direction in which the bacteria wants to move next is the fimbri also known as the pili okay it is a the pili is a short hair like structure it is like this okay pili is the short hair like structure that helps the bacteria to stick to to stick with another bacteria okay basically it helps during it occurs during the that sticking together occurs during the reproduction and next thing is the cytoplasm it is a jelly like substance inside the cell where chemical reaction occur so this is the basic cell idea about the cell structure of bacteria okay it poses a cell membrane and cell membrane is covered by a capsule okay whole body is covered by capsule the outer short hair coat hair like structure is a pili which helps during the sticking together during the reproduction time and it poses the size cytoplasm and within cytoplasm it consists of dna or genetic material scattered okay without a proper membrane and the end is the, the, there is another antenna like outgrowth that is the flagella which helps the bacteria to move okay so this is the basic feature of cell structure of bacteria next now let's move to the types of bacteria okay so how many types of bacteria okay how bacteria are divided on what basis okay because uh, we have different method to differentiate the bacteria okay bacteria can be divided into various groups uh, based on the shape the structure okay and presence of flagellum that is flagella that outgrowth that which helps in the, during the movement okay and its shape structure so there are different ways okay how we differentiate bacteria okay and some bacteria are divided into groups based on the number or arrangement of the flagella or sometimes how they live whether they are solitary they live solitary or they live in group so there are the different criteria or different okay uh, criteria uh, 
in which okay we divide the bacteria we divide the bacteria into various groups so let's begin the types of bacteria so based on the shape okay the first thing is based on the shape bacteria can be divided into various groups based on the shape some are spherical shape some are spiral some are rod shaped some are comma shaped okay so like it is like this thing mm. some bacteria are spherical some bacteria are spherical shaped we call it cocci some bacteria are rod shaped okay some bacteria rod shaped like this some bacteria are spiral shaped like this okay some bacteria are comma shaped some bacteria comma shaped some bacteria corkscrew type shape like this so there are different types of bacteria okay based on the shape so some are spherical some are rod shaped some are spiral some are comma shaped some are corkscrew so they can exist either they can exist either as single cells or pairs or in chains or in clusters okay so it also this is how um, uh, bacteria exist some exist in single cell only single cell moves here and there some may in pairs some in chains or clusters cluster mean in groups so this is the one type of uh, bacteria which is based on the shape now another is the types of bacteria that is based on the structure okay structure so some bacteria, these bacteria are uh, divided okay these bacteria are divided on the basis of the presence of the flagella okay flagella you know that flagella is the antenna like sh antenna shape like outgrowth that helps the bacteria to move in different directions so this is the another type of bacteria which is based on the structure so there is a trichus without any flagella so if let the uh, if the bacteria is like rod shaped okay we, we call it a rod shape okay let us let make us let us take example rod shaped bacteria okay this is the bacteria so this is a trichus without any flagella okay and if a bacteria poses a single flagella bacteria poses a single flagella then it is known as the monotrichus okay a trichus is without flagella mono means single trichus flagella so monotrichus one flagella amphitrichus means single flagella at both sides okay if this is the thing this is the This is the amphitrichus bacteria. There is another sophilotrichus, bunch of flagella on one side. Okay, this is another type of this is another type of bacteria. Okay, which is in which okay one side of the bacteria poses a bunch of flagella on one side. This is what we called a cephalotrichus. There is another that is gopher trichus that is presence of flagellum bunch of flagellum on both sides of the 
body and last is the peritrichus okay there is another the th last one is the peritrichus bacteria which consists of flagellum okay flagellum all around the body so these are the different types of bacteria based on the structure one is atrichus this is the atrichus uh, without any flagella this is the monotrichus presence of single flagella this is amphitrichus presence of single flagella on the both side this is the cephalotrichus presence of bunch of flagellum on the one side of the body this is the lophotrichus bunch presence of bunch of flagella on both sides and this is the peritrichus presence of flagella all around the body so this is the another type of bacteria okay divided which is based on the structure now let's move to the protozoa now this is another thing now protozoa are completely different okay now we got the idea about what is bacteria okay bacteria single cell organism with presence okay which is divided based upon their structure shape presence of flagellum or presence of their existence that is whether they exist as solitary or uh, or in a group or in bunch okay so this is the bacteria and bacteria can be either harmful or can either be a beneficial to human beings so harmful bacteria will always will always gives us okay it gives us a disease only okay it always makes us sick it gives us various diseases and in case of protozoa oh sorry in case of beneficial we basically use in okay food items that is converting milk into curd some bacteria are used in making medicines etc so now let's move with protozoa so what is what is protozoa so protozoa are single cell or microorganisms which possess tiny hair like structures called cilia around the sac like bodies now this is another thing okay protozoa is also single cell microorganisms like bacteria it is also single cell which possess of tiny hair stalks okay they are also called heterocots okay protozoa are single celled protozoa are single celled microorganisms okay which possess tiny hair like structures called cilia in case of bacteria it possess flagellum or flagella isn't it in outside the body now in case of protozoa we will get cilia all around the sac like bodies they also are called they are also called heterocots okay as they depend on the other for the food the cilia move back okay for to move the protozoa through the body okay in case of bacteria flagellum was flagellum was there okay which helps to move back and forth you know, throughout the water or throughout the environment but in case of protozoa cilia helps them to move back and forth they are smaller things like bacteria which also single cell but smaller in size okay uh, protozoa basically uh, feeds upon a, a smaller even it protozoa itself is so my it's microorganism it's a minute organism okay small organism now it feeds upon another small organism which is much smaller than its size than protozoa okay so this is protozoa now next is protozoa can be very different in shape size and in the way they move okay protozoa can be very different okay in shape size in the way they move and feed based upon these properties they are divided into four groups amoeba ciliates flagellates and sporozoans okay 
so based upon based upon the properties okay there you into the four group that is amoeba ciliates flagellates and sporozoans okay so protozoa it is of different types that is one is amoeba number one is amoeba then another is ciliates amoeba ciliates the flagellates flagellates means protozoa with flagella okay then last is the sporozoans sporozoans means it's also parasites okay basically parasites of um, uh, protozoa it's a protozoa microorganism okay sporozoans are uh, they are formed uh, mm, during the malarial diseases and all okay the mosquito whenever they malaria happened the sporozoans are the fine kind of bacteria protozoa that okay that causes the malaria okay so during the malaria the sporozoa is basically formed in the, uh, found in the human body this sporozoa causes uh, malaria okay so this is a bacteria a form of uh, sorry protozoa sporozoa is a protozoa okay uh, which causes the malarial disease okay which uh, yeah and so protozoa is basically doing into four into four groups based on the properties okay uh, based on the size based on the shape and all it is the amoeba ciliates flagellates and sporozoa now now they exist in the window or as parasites okay like say it's, it's sporozoans is a parasite kind of parasite things okay it require host to and it depends upon the host okay so sporozoans so they exist independently or as parasites independently means either uh, they don't depend on others okay like amoeba and all and parasites sporozoans they have to depend upon the one of the host to recite into the body and to multiply next is they causes various diseases like diarrhea malaria etc okay and most of the protozoa they causes the diseases like diarrhea protozoa etc so in case of the groups amoeba okay you know that amoeba isn't it you know this amoeba which poses nucleus single okay the nucleus and there is a vacuole in the body and this is the pseudopodia isn't it this is the pseudopodia Pseudo, it forms pseudopodia for for movement as well as to for uh, for engulfing the food isn't it i think i have talked about i have discussed about this in our cell structure classes previous classes so this is this so this is the amoeba and now next is uh, ciliates okay in case of ciliates that there is a sporozoa okay which is of this kind sleeper sleeper type okay so it poses of cilia all around the body it poses a nucleus okay this is the nucleus it poses different food vacuoles and all okay organelles are there food vacuole so this is the another is ciliates okay and the it, its name is a paramecium this is the paramecium okay this is the example this is example of paramecium is example of ciliates okay now there is flagellates and sporozoans for sporozoans i said it is the it spreads malaria okay so basically during the malaria also, uh, 
spora is found in our body which spreads malaria or which causes malaria and next so this is the protozoa this is nemelo parasites okay and basically sporozoa is the parasites they cause various diseases like diarrhea and malaria etc okay so protozoa um, even amoeba causes a disease amoeba asis also whenever it get contaminated into our water this protozoa just contaminated into the water the our food or water it causes various diseases like diarrhea and malaria okay malaria you know that it is what uh, how this mosquito isn't it anopheles due to the anopheles female anopheles mosquito it transmits the this disease malaria and diarrhea is basically it happens with help of the ciliates or flagellates or the amoeba okay so this is the total top knowing microorganisms so till now what we done okay so today what we proto uh, we learned that the protozoans cause serious disease like dysentery malaria or diarrhea and these are these microorganisms grow on our food and cause food poisoning like fungus and all isn't it and so there are many uh, there are many microorganisms okay which reside in the root nodules of the plant also leguminous plants also some bacteria okay okay and that uh, we'll discuss in the later in the next class okay regarding the bacteria that found in the root nodules and all till now so microorganisms include micro uh, focus let us focus on the types of microorganisms which include bacteria fungi protozoa and some algae viruses though different from the above mentioned living organisms are considered microbes okay and next thing is that some microorganisms are useful for commercial production of medicines and alcohol and some microorganisms are harmful to human beings human beings which causes various diseases skin diseases or any kind of diseases okay so this is the basic concept regarding the microorganisms so we learned so we learned about the different types of microorganisms that is virus algae fungi bacteria protozoa and again the virus is of five types bacterial phage microphage phycophage zoophage phytophage okay again within this microorganisms algae are single celled or multicellular algae are single celled multicellular microscopic or microscopic example is the chlamydomonas fungi fungi is single cell or multicellular example yeast mold bacteria it is also a single celled example is lactobacillus salmonella etc protozoa it is again single celled free or parasitic in nature example is amoeba paramecium etc sporozoa is there protozoa okay sporozoa is also protozoa and next the viruses which is the smallest organisms which is parasitic in nature uh, which acts as non living thing if okay in outside the host body once it enters the host body it acts as a living thing it starts multiplying okay rapidly example is influenza virus adenovirus okay and different types of virus etc so this is the basic concept regarding the microorganisms types of microorganisms uh, and its basic characters so for more details okay please go through the book content book page number 16 17 18 and all and please go to the book if you don't get if you don't understand let me know
stay safe keep learning take care